Hey guys, this is Robert Choi, and I'm here again to give you guys another video for HSC, which is our project is going to be on the Arduino countdown timer. So pretty much the run through of the project is obviously we're going to be building a timer with an Arduino. So let's get moving on to what materials we need. So first of all, we obviously need an Arduino because that's pretty much the basis of everything. Then we need our four digit seven segment display, which is most likely in your Arduino starting kit. Obviously we need some wires to connect them to our breadboard, but most importantly of all, we need you. All right, now we're gonna be moving on to our schematic. So this is the schematic here. Now we'll be moving on to the coding section. Okay, so let's start on our code. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some constant integers, which is a value that cannot be changed. So it can stick to the pin numbers we keep them on, or like the, you know, the integers we keep them on. So first we're going to do as constant a equals 12. Zero, and then we'll set an integer for the stop, uh, the start, stop, and the reset. So we do start, stop, and the reset, and we'll make that thirteen. And then we gotta put a few more constants. <clears throat> We're gonna keep a constant d one. At a hundred, that'll just be one. My bad. And then we we'll put long and equal six, six um, sixty thousand, and we'll do that. Oh, sorry, don't put the comma. And we'll do that because it's like the start time, so we can change to whatever time we want, considering on the milliseconds that it is. <clears throat> but we'll just keep that as our stop time for now. You can change it as so fit as you want to. We'll keep the x equals 100, and then we'll put the int delay value at 55. All right, so now inside the void setup, We'll put in a bunch of different pin modes. So we'll start with D1, which would be the output. And we'll continue down the line. I think we're gonna need we're gonna need all the values we put here. So we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're gonna need eleven of those. So two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right. But then we also have the p value, so we're gonna have to put twelve. <clears throat> so then we got, we're gonna just keep every single one of these are outputs. So we just need to move down the line. So we need to do four. We get it. We get an a and b, c, d. Um, do we put a G 
then we'll keep the last one as a P. Really. <clears throat> okay, so now we'll put the pin mode for the start, stop, reset. So we'll put start, stop, reset. And we'll put that as an input because the user plugs in the value for whether it stops, starts, or resets. And then we'll put a digital range. And then we'll put And we'll put that as a high. Okay, the next. Next, we're going to move on to our void loop. And then we're going to start with the digital right. And we're going to put P as high because that's the value that's going to go in. And we're going to do clear LEDs. And then we're going to pick digit one. And we're going to pick the number and divided by x divided by a thousand. And we're going to put a modulo of 10, which pretty much gets the remainder of whatever value plugged in or whatever value is divided. And then we'll delay it by the microseconds. We'll put the delay, our delay time that we play. We'll do another set of that. And we got to do that three times for three uh, different digit values. So I'll just copy and paste it because I want to save some time. Boop, boop. And so this pick digit would be a three. And we also got to add the disp deck. And that will also be a three. Um, this time the module, it would just be 10 with a module of 10. We'll keep the delay as the same. The last one be a four. And this time it would just be N. And then it would just be a module of 10, like this. And then it'll still be delayed. And then we gotta do N minus minus because we're gonna do N plus plus for the stopwatch. And then we're going to start with the if statement of if digital read is 13 and it equals equals low, then we got to, then we got to make n equals 60,000 again, because this is a restart time. So, but again, we can change this to whatever time I originally want or what you originally want. And then we're going to add a void pick digit. Because we need to like, have something that changes the digits. And then we'll start it off with another digital right. And we'll set, one, set D1 as high. And we'll copy and paste this four times for the different D1 values. And we'll go D1, D2, D3, and D4. And then we'll put different switch. So we put a switch. Put switch. And at case one, what will, what will happen will be that there will be a digital red. Oh, be digital right d1 would be low and then i'll break case two that digital right and then d2 would be low and again it'll break case three be that digital right d3 is low or not low but and then we'll put digital right p as high because we gotta make a new like loop. And then we're gonna break it. And then we're gonna put a default also. And we're gonna put the default as digital right as d4 as low. And then we just break it at the end. Of it. <clears throat> All right. Then after we do that, we have to find we have to make another void. So we have to put a void of pick number so we, we could have a code that changes the value of our number. And 
we'll put in our switch. Do switch up again. And this time we'll have multiple different so we have a default value again. Where at zero there'll be a break. And they'll just be the same for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm just going to copy this and just change the numbers and letters along the way. So we just keep it like this. Boop. Edge. Boop. Edge. Boop. So we gotta have from default all the way to the nine. Let's be default one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this would be the seventh. This would be the eighth, and this would be the ninth. All right. So we all we just gotta do is we gotta change this to this one. This instead of zero, this would be one. And this is the same thing all the way down. So it'll be case two, case three, case four, case five, case six, case six, case seven, case eight, and the case nine. And all I need to do is then change the numbers in here. This will be two, this will be three, this will be four, this will be five, this will be six, this will be seven, this will be eight, and this will be nine. And then that will be it. And then we have to make another void for the disk decision. Eggs. It's a digital, right? We put P as low. And then we do the same thing for when we're clearing the LED lights. Or not the lights, but just the LEDs. And then it'll just be a bunch of different. And. And then what we'll put is digital rage. And it'll be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, P. So we just copy and paste until we get to P. So we go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then P. It will be B, C, D, E, F, G, and then P. Then we're gonna write the case for one void is at zero. And then we're gonna to have to go all the way down to an until void is nine. So this is also gonna be a pretty long process. So we're gonna start at void zero. <clears throat> we just copy and paste this digital right. So we just gotta change the values. So we're gonna put everything at high except for P, which is gonna be at a low. joking because we actually don't need P for this case because we're only talking about the different A, B, C, D, E, F, G pins. And then we'll get to void one. We gotta get all the way down to void. So let me just write down all the other ones. Alright, void two, void three. Void four, um, void five, five, void six, void 
This kind of bugs me, so I'm just pressing down one. Void is and last but not least, we'll put void not. And I'm not gonna in the other space now. Keep it like that. Okay, so then with this copy that and pasted, just copy, paste into the different voids, and then we'll start changing values from void one, which is different. So for void one, A would be a low, a B and C would be a high, and the rest would be all low. Um, for void two, the two beginnings would be high, C would be a low, F would be a low, and G would be a high. For void three, everything would be high except for E and F, which would be two lows. For void four, only A would be a low. Uh, D and E would both be lows. Void 5, it would be a high, low, high, high, um, low, and a high, high. Void 6, it would just be high, low, high, 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 high. So everything just just be high. For void 7, it would just be high, 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 and then the rest would all be low. For void age, everything would just be high. And last but not least, for void nine, E would be the only thing that would be low. And that concludes our coding section. Last of all, thanks for listening and see you all next week. Also, Merry Christmas. <laughs>